Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right, guys, we are here and we are going to talk about why the hell are you buying a mid 2012 Mac Pro in 2018 and soon to be 2019? What's that? That's like a six, seven year old computer. Like, why would you do this, Joe? <laughs> Well, as you guys may know, um, I'm a huge fan of Apple. I'm a huge fan of what you can do with a Mac OS system, right? It's so much easier to develop applications. It's so much easier to build your websites. It's so much easier to edit your videos. Like literally, you can't go wrong, okay? Now, I was looking into buying a Mac Pro or a iMac Pro, right? The latest one. And I was thinking about it. I was like, wait, hold on. If I go in and spend $5,000, $7,000 on a computer that you can't upgrade, then it's really like a waste of money. Okay. So I decided, let me look back. Let me see what we got here. Right. So I looked online at all of the different computers and just comparing them to see like which one will be the best choice for me okay and I decided to go with this one okay now let's look back let's track backs walk back <laughs> go a little bit back like why the hell am I doing this right so the reason why I'm doing this is because this right here this computer right here it's a Windows computer that I built myself I bought a whole bunch of different um you know parts and and graphic cards and you know ddr3 freaking ram and you know the latest i7 and this this and that like bro to be honest with you that's a waste of money right and this windows computer is a, it's a waste of money 100 percent uh the computer caught a virus that i can't even go into the system i can't even go into uh, how you call it? It's like anything in the settings. I can't do anything in there. Okay, the computer is is pretty much useless now. Now some people told me, "Hey Joe, you could actually just go and reboot your computer and start fresh, right?" But I don't want to be dealing with this type of nonsense that you have to deal with with Windows. Of like, hey man, if the computer messes up, just restart it, reboot it, put it on factor reset, right? Like. You shouldn't have to do that, okay? I never gone through this type of type of stuff with a Mac computer, right? An Apple computer, like you never have to go through this stuff. So what I'm doing is, I'm going back to Apple, and yes, I'm recording inside of this Mac Pro 2017 laptop, but at the same time. I need a tower. I need something powerful to edit my videos. I need something powerful where I could do my work. I can have this to move around whenever I need to do something quick. But when I'm at home, I need a workstation. Okay. And I always tell you guys like Apple computers are the best ones. Okay. They really are the best ones to do anything that's professional. If you are just like a user that's going to be on, on the internet and chatting and, and going on little video games and this, this and that, like, yeah, so Windows can work fine for you. But when you are a professional, you need an Apple computer. You can't deal with, I caught a virus. Hey, I have a Trojan virus that's recording all of my keystrokes, is recording my credit cards, etc. You know what I mean? Like, my password is, is being hacked. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I can't deal with that, right? Because every single hour that I'm not able to either create my content or create uh applications or even right now if a client comes in and hits me up like hey we need you to work on something i could do it on this macbook pro but to be honest with you i'd rather have a tower where i could have all of my projects in there and maybe have four or five different hard drives connected to it where i could say hey man this hard drive is all for clients this hard drive is all for courses this hard drive is all for video games this other hard drives is for um i don't know you know uh, just like regular stuff like photos and videos of my family you get what i'm saying like i want to have that tower here okay 
And also, too, like I said, man, I always tell you guys, people think like, man, you have to buy the latest computer. You got to buy this, this and that. Like right now, to be honest with you, for the type of work that we do, a lot of you guys can even buy a 2008, 2009 Mac Pro, uh, MacBook Pro and you're going to be fine. For what I'm doing, I need something even more powerful. So a 2012 Mac Pro, like it's actually better for me. Cause I can't do everything that I need to do just on a, on a MacBook Pro, right? But for developing applications, this is not like you guys can be fine with a 2008 MacBook Pro, which let's see, like if you was to go for a MacBook Pro, uh, let's see right now, 2008 MacBook Pro. Let's see. 200, $250, guys. You could get one for $250. You could get one for what? $127 to start in the bid. Um, look, buy it now, $234. Like, is, is, there's no excuse, right? When people come in and be like, man, MacBooks, they're just too expensive. And, you know, I'm going through hell in my Windows computer and I can't follow the courses and I can't follow what everybody else is doing. And I'm having trouble installing Node.js and I'm doing this and that. Guys, invest into a Mac, right? Invest into a, a, a MacBook Pro, invest into, uh, even just, uh, even MacBook Air sometimes can do the job for some of you guys, right? Like you're not doing Photoshop. You're not doing video editing. Like all you're doing is text and all you need is just the Mac OS system for it to, to really work and, and be good, right? So is this a good buy for me? Yes. You know, so 2012 Mac Pro 3.46 gigahertz, uh, 12 core, 64 gigabytes of RAM. 256 SSD, one terabyte plus one terabyte, right? And install the latest, uh, new software that's coming out, operating system, which is, what's it, Monjabi or something like that? Monjabi, uh, yeah. So Monjabi, um, so basically Mac Pro models introduced in late 2013 and, uh, 2010 or mid 2012 models okay so that's for the mac pros right that i can install the latest uh, operating system that mac os is about to release right now so i'm pretty much golden right and i could go in and have this monster machine upgraded however the hell i want right coming here and like let's see i could fix it up i mean everything's already nice and and legit, I could go in, put in my, my graphic card, putting a, a piece of a graphic card that I have, um, from there, fix this up, you know, fill it up with hard drives of like, you know, freaking two terabyte, three terabyte, like make this thing a, a monster machine, something that I could just be like, okay, I know I'm, I'm secure. Okay. And at the same time, maybe have a hard drive for, uh, time machine. So in case if anything happens, I could go back into time and just install the computer exactly how it was a week before or two days before or even an hour before. You know what I mean? Like Max, man, you can't go wrong, man. And not for nothing, but this thing is beautiful. And I'm actually excited, right? When this computer came out, I couldn't afford it. Like this thing is like a $5,000, $7,000 computer. Okay, when it first came out, now they're selling it for uh, a fraction of the, the price. And to be honest, I'm excited. I feel like a little kid right now. I'm like, man, I always wanted to have one of these, right? And now I could afford it. Now I could buy it, right? So I'm super excited. And I know I'm going to have this computer for a long time. And what's cool about it, they also offer some, um, how you call this, like some warranty. So if anything happens, um, basically I'm covered. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited about this, man, because I don't think I'm going to be going back to windows. I might have like a, a, a hard drive installed in there with windows just to show you guys how to do installations and how to do like the very simple stuff, but it's not going to be like my main computer at all. Like I'm not, I'm not going back. I try to give it a few months. You guys seen this. I've been using windows for a while for like probably like what, four or five months. 
I give it a chance. I give it a chance. I try to do it just because there's so many users that are either subscribed to my channel or subscribed to the courses who use Windows. And in reality, is like, bro, like just invest $250. Buy yourself a MacBook Pro, man. Like I'm still going to support you guys. But I'm telling you guys, like you're not going to have to go through that headache no more. You know, having trouble installing things like every single software out there except .NET stuff, right? And even .NET is now being supported for, for Mac OS. But everything that's out there that you see on GitHub, all the cool frameworks, all the cool uh, applications or CLI applications that people create, people are really focused on Mac OS or Linux. Like they're not looking at the Windows user or the hell that they got to go through to actually set something up for it to work like nobody really cares about people who who is like windows users when it comes to like professional development now i know somebody's in the comment right now as we speak typing this down it's like hold on hold on hold on typing super hard right now but we use windows computers at my job and i'm a developer and this this and that and it's like why do we have windows computers and we're okay and this this and that bro you gotta understand one thing is business right so most companies they'll say hey instead of us going and spending you know uh five thousand dollars per computer for each developer right how about we go and say we buy from dell and buy it for three hundred dollars we want you know get a bullshit uh workstation for three hundred dollars and now we're able with you know five ten thousand dollars buy like 20 computers 30 computers for everybody is business right it's not because the computers are better to work with it's literally because they're cheaper and they make more profit like that right if they have you working on an iMac that costs five thousand dollars hey man that's gonna be a, a lot of investment for you to be like hey man now I gotta make that shit up right this this developer gotta get that money right back he gotta make five thousand dollars or more for us to be able to uh you know put that money back into the company but if we just go and buy freaking 30 40 uh computers for five thousand dollars what do you think is better you know what i mean like so don't use that example to me on, on the comment section saying man you know we use windows in in my job and and we're fine and they gave me a brand new uh windows laptop or hp <laughs> like bro <laughs> Like, let's be honest, man. Like, it's not about which one is a better computer. It's literally about which one is going to make more profit for them. Okay. So it is what it is. But luckily, I'm, I'm privileged right now to say, Hey, I could just buy this computer and be good. Right. Like, I, I'm not doing this thing for gaming. I'm not doing this thing for anything else. This is just going to be a powerhouse, a, a major system for me to just create all of my courses, create all of my applications, have everything in order in one single workstation that I know is going to be reliable and I know it's not going to be crashing. It's not going to be uh, being destroyed, hacked, Trojan, uh, finger banged. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't need that in my life right now. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, guys. Go ahead if you want to uh, buy a MacBook Pro, even a 2008, man, uh, MacBook Pro or Mac Pro, even a Mac Pro. I think they have like the 2010 Mac Pros for like, I think it's like $700 or something like that. Like, and it's crazy because these computers could be like 10 years old and they still hold value because if you are a professional, you could literally use this and be good. Like you don't need to be spending a whole bunch of money on a whole bunch of Windows parts and shit like that. Like those computers are not reliable, man. Like I'm being honest. Like it doesn't matter what computer you have. Doesn't matter what uh freaking a vast system or antivirus, McAfee, whatever the hell you want to have in it installed. Like your computer's still gonna get finger banked by everybody out there on the internet. You know what I mean? So it's up to you if you want to keep that okay but anyways guys i'm excited i'll let you guys know once this computer uh gets here i can't wait i'm waiting on it <laughs> i already told the guy hey man just send it to me i don't care if i have to pay the extra 150 dollars try to send it to me as soon as possible okay but i'll let you guys know how this thing goes and 
yeah, I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com.